Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're gonna see the last time my long hair. So I am about to go to the hairdresser to cut them off. I'm gonna donate them, so next time you see me, you're gonna see me look a short hair. So yeah, that was a quick introduction when I'm still with my long hair. And yeah, I'll see you for you in two seconds for me and few hours with a short hair. So see you. Ta-da! So yeah. So this is how it looks like. I just came back. I mean, it's been a while, so you can see now I need to put the light on. <laughs> but yeah, I came back home now from the from the salon. And yeah, this is how it looks like. I'm gonna share with you the video how the whole process goes. Um, but yeah, basically I cut my hair because I wanted to donate it. I was waiting a little bit longer. I wanted to cut my hair for last probably two years, but I didn't have enough to donate her because to donate it used to be 25 centimeters in a braid then now they change it for 35 centimeters without the braid so I have a straight hair so let's say I think last year when I was looking I needed like two more centimeters or something like this and this year I had a bit more which is good because then they could they always have 35 centimeters of the hair under the tie I will share with you also the picture of the braids and then they have to cut it above the tie and then of course they have to somehow cut it all so i had a very simple cut um, but yeah let's get into the video where they cut it for me and So yeah, for whoever wants to uh, cut their hair with from really long hair that are not that are not uh, too damaged or that they are not having so many products or like you know um, dyes or henna or some other type of like you have to really read. I never do anything to my hair, so so for me just to uh, not use the conditioner before the last uh, cut. It's not really a thing uh, that is difficult, but the hair salons uh, place that I went to, they are offering the cut of the braids and then styling, let's say. So they washed my hair, they cut them. It took all the process around one hour. So I would say it was normal hairstyle visit. Of course, I didn't dye them or I didn't have any special type of, you know, um, how to call it, like styling. The girl slightly dried it on the on the hairbrush and she styled it actually like let me maybe figure it out like slightly this way maybe more or less I don't know I don't see myself <laughs> too well maybe this way but she knew that I'm gonna change it anyways because I'm not used to having a division in this side uh, you can let me know in the comments down below if you think this one is better or my usual bang is better I'm used to my usual bang so the moment I exit even without like you know proper thinking I did this which takes all my brand uh, bangs so it was already on the side 
Now I have to slightly get used to it, but I really like it. That's so light. I was so tired with my hair. Really, you cannot imagine how tired I was with my hair to every time when I have to wash it. It's already a long process and brushing them, they started to be very tangled and yeah, it's just... Oh. And when I lose my hair, they are like, you know, half meter long. So it was a... yeah, it was a struggle. Even if I don't really lose a lot of hair and luckily my hair is like super straight, so I don't have to do anything. Now I hope I'm not gonna have to do anything. I am afraid that I'm gonna have to wash them maybe more often. Now I usually wash them every two days unless I really don't have to get out of the house and I do it three days or something like this, but usually every two days. And I used to wash my hair before, like two or three years ago, every day. So I hope I'm not gonna have to go back to this, uh, even if I'm quite sure I will, because I'm gonna touch my hair much more. And uh, and yeah, it's winter, so I'm wearing sometimes a hat or something like this. Uh, but yeah, so I would be very happy if you would let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. I really like it. I'm very happy that it's finally light. And it's, you know, I, I don't have to worry about it. I really, really wanted to do it for a long time. So I'm happy I could donate it finally. And yeah, I didn't mention the donation is for uh, the wigs for people with cancer. So it's a very good cause. In Poland, we have one organization that is doing it. So uh, at least it's sure that they're gonna donate it. And they have like assigned hair style salons uh, where you can go. Uh, and in other places, uh, at least when I was looking in Luxembourg, they were not really one foundation. Sometimes they were not really Luxembourgish, but Belgian. So I decided to do it in Poland and yeah. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I think it's a good change right before the new year, which I think is gonna bring a lot, a lot of changes to my life. So that's one of them. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what do you think and if you ever heard about it, if you ever done it maybe. I know a few of my friends did, another friend couldn't because she was using henna and also her hair was damaged too much. So, so yeah. Uh, but as you can see, I already touch it much more than usually, so I'm sure I'm gonna have to wash it more often. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what do you think. And yeah, I know that this video is not usual video about Luxembourg, but if you enjoyed it, I'll be very happy if you hit the like button. That helps me a lot so this video will reach more people. And if you're interested in uh, topics of studying and living abroad, maybe jobs and salaries and expenses abroad, you can always subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about random facts about Luxembourg and the Luxembourg playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you in another video.